was more so if we can out coach or, you know, if we can out coach or outplay the coaches on that staff in particular, which two guys we felt that we knew pretty good, we were going to win. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. To our regular viewers, thank you for the support. To our new viewers, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. During his prime years, former Celtics point guard Rajon Rondo was one of the craftiest and one of the most effective floor generals in the NBA. Along with his ability to conduct a team's offense with his playmaking skills, Rondo's extensive prep work often allowed him to find avenues to get the inside edge against opponents. That mindset was a topic when he was on JJ Reddick's podcast, with Rondo noting his interesting approach when he took on the Celtics as a member of the Bulls during the 2017 playoffs. So that year, entering the playoffs as the 8th seed, Rondo and the Bulls were going to have their hands full against a top-seeded Celtics roster, anchored by Isaiah Thomas, Al Horford, Avery Bradley, Jay Crowder, and a rookie, Jalen Brown. But for Rondo, one of his top priorities going into the series was trying to outsmart Boston's coach Brad Stevens. By 2017, Brad Stevens had asserted himself as one of the top coaches in the NBA, especially when it came to his ability to draw up plays and adjust strategies during in-game situations. As such, Rondo said that he made a concerted effort with the rest of the Bulls' top players to try to implement new strategies and plays to throw Stevens off his game from the sidelines. He also talked about him and LeBron outcoaching Brad Stevens and Eric Spolstra when he was with the Lakers and they won a championship. So let's listen to that segment, then I'll get back and give my reaction. For me, when I'm playing a game, I'm not necessarily playing against a player. Uh, a, a great example is when I was going against the, the Celtics when I played for the Bulls. My whole mindset that entire series was to beat Brad Stevens. A uh, quick story. I know I'm jumping around, but um, I think it was, I think it was game one. It was like a shoot around in the ballroom. We stayed in the hotel. We were at the Four Seasons. And I asked Jimmy and D-Wade to stay back. And I was working on fourth quarter execution plays that we could run in the fourth that Brad hadn't seen us play yet. So when we did run those plays, they weren't, they weren't able to make those counters or adjustments. And for me, I was watching a lot of, I think I watched maybe like four or five of his games to where his fourth quarter players, they were calling sets that they ran for Isaiah Horford in that, in that particular series to get ahead of the curve. Says I'm thinking, my mindset is thinking, how can I beat the coach? How can I outcoach the coach? I feel like I have the power and I'm involved in the game. So I have more of an influence and an impact that I can make versus a coach yelling from the sidelines, trying to communicate to his players what they need to do. But me as a player on the court, I'm able to make those adjustments and uh, you know be ahead of the curve. I would be honest with you, that's that's one of the best answers that I've ever gotten on the, on that question. Now looking back, you really are you really are a cocksucker because <laughs> that's <laughs> essentially what you were doing. I'm like getting these I'm getting these memories of the the 2009 2010 playoffs and looking over at you whether it was a free throw, a dead ball, whatever, and you just be like staring at Stan. I'm never going against the players i'm looking at the coach and what he's saying everything because everything obviously he's saying that you guys are going to do and implement so what he wants to do in practice so if i can get ahead of those those answers to the test earlier i'll ace the test and it's crazy thing we're in a bubble this goes back to the bubble me and brown were in the bubble we're watching the game i think it was it was miami and boston again and uh, we were sitting in the room watching the game and like i said it went down to the wire so brown's like if we if we get miami i got spo and if we get boston you got brad so that was kind of our mindset it's like it wasn't like, oh, we're going to beat the Heat or we're going to beat the Celtics. It was more so if we can outcoach or, you know, if we can outcoach or outplay the coaches on that staff in particular, which two guys we felt that we knew pretty good, we were going to win. What do you think about this? Please drop a comment. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Thank you.